Hello Capricorn viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, um, what action they might be taking towards you over the next two or three weeks or so. So let's just see what the cards have to say and let's see what the current story is. So for the Capricorns that are drawn to this video, what do I need to know about your love life right now? What is the story? What do we need to know here? What's going on in regards to love for the Capricorn viewers? What's going on with your love life right now? Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, Two of Cups, Strength, Seven of Swords, King of, oh, King of Swords, Six of Pentacles, The World, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So I'm looking at this story. It's a very complicated story here. I feel like you're in this... Okay, so this could be a relationship or it could just be... Um, might be like an up and down relationship. Like you guys get back together and break up. You get back together and break up. It's kind of hot and cold. Or it could be somebody you're actually with now. Whatever. Or an ex coming back around. You know, it is Mercury retrograde. So we do still have exes coming back in. So this could be an ex. Whatever your story is. I feel like with this person. This person is the king of swords. So this is somebody who is harsh, analytical emotionally unavailable, head over heart, you know, weakness is to be banished, that kind of person. It's somebody who's not willing to be too open and honest with how they feel. And with this person, I feel like you're the queen of swords. I don't feel like you're naturally the queen of swords. I feel like you're naturally the queen of cups or even the queen of wands. But I think that this person brings out that queen of swords side in you. I think that, you know, they're so harsh and they're so analytical and they're so logical about everything and they're so closed off and there's such a power struggle with this person and they're so unwilling to show emotion that it rubs off on you to where, you know, you kind of pick up this energy from them. It's like their energy has been affecting you for quite a while um, to the point where it's like, you know, especially if it's a power struggle, it makes sense. It's like if they're not showing your, their emotions, you're getting to that point where you're not showing your emotions either. You know, you're, you're matching their energy. You're being harsh and cold and closed off right back to them. So it's either arguments with this person or it's just complete silence and lack of communication because neither of you are willing, willing to budge in this relationship. I do feel like you've been trying to get their attention for a while. So with this six of wands here, with the six of wands here, it, that's all about public recognition and success. It's, it's somebody who is confident, somebody who feels beautiful, who feels wanted. And I don't really think that you feel beautiful or wanted or needed with this person. I feel like I feel like you want recognition for the things, for the efforts that you put into this relationship and also for personal efforts. You know, you want them to see you as beautiful. You want them to kind of um, say the right things, do the right things. You want them to notice you more, you know. You want them to just notice all the effort you put into this relationship. You want them to notice your success, your your feelings, your desires, just who you are as a person, like as a whole, you just, you have been wanting them to notice you for a long time and you kind of just feel invisible to this person, I feel. I feel like you've had to be the strong one for a long time. With the Two of Cups and the Strength card here, I kind of feel like for a while you've just been trying to hold on to the good times, maybe, you know, how it used to be or how it could be if they would if they you know were more emotionally available the the holding on to the potential or holding on to the past with this person basically with this um two of cups that could be like a love offer too could be thinking about 
the um, the start of the relationship or uh, certain memories of when they made some kind of love offer to you or when they were more romantic, more open, or in the beginning when they were trying and now they're kind of not trying so much. There, there could be some memories there that are going through your head right now. And it's like you've been trying to be strong and patient and you've been kind of just doing everything on your own. You know, you've been in this energy where you've really tried to be patient, but I, I don't think that you have any patience left for this situation. And I think that you kind of break at a certain point. I think you're reaching that point where you just broke in or you're about to break with this seven of swords. It's kind of like she's just saying, screw it, screw all of it. He or she, however the story plays out for you, whatever energy you're in. But this person is like either wanting to run towards the king of swords or away, but they, they don't want to be stuck in limbo anymore. You know what I mean? They don't want to be in this. Look at how, like, the Two of Cups and the Strength card, it's just so neutral. It's so, like, stagnant. It's like they're just holding on and surviving and being strong, but things aren't really moving in this relationship. It's just the same old, same old. It's the same old story. It's not romantic as it used to be. There's The love isn't there the way it used to be, or they're not. Maybe they made an effort in the beginning to win you over, and now they've kind of just relaxed and started ghosting you or whatever now that they have you. And I think you're just saying, screw it. You know, you've been heartbroken enough over this relationship. You're kind of, you're tired of feeling invisible to this person. You're tired of trying to get their attention. You're tired of going around in circles. And so you're you're forcing your way out of limbo. And you, you might get confrontational with this person where you're just kind of saying, you know, be like giving them an ultimatum almost like be all in or be all out like you're running towards something i think you're just running in general you're like i'm not going to be in this stagnant energy anymore either i'm leaving this king of swords and starting over and running that that direction or i'm running towards the king of swords and we're going to have a more loving open relationship and they're going to actually be there for me and they're you know no more ghosting no more you know wanting to have your cake and eat it too no more being relaxed no more taking me for granted no more of that energy is basically what you're saying and and so this could be um it's kind of like you're just you're giving it one final shot with this king of swords it's like you're just being vulnerable it's like you're completely open it's kind of like you're um i don't know how romantic it is though because like look at her it's like she's fed up she's just like She's like, all right, screw it. Like one last shot, just one last try and that's it. Like laying all her cards out on the table. This is how I feel. This is what I want. Take it or leave it. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, I'm, you know, I'm tired of this. It's, it's, it's kind of very confrontational, quick, straightforward energy. Maybe some deep heart-to-heart -heart talks coming between you two and also arguments coming between you two you know what I mean like I think this energy might catch them off guard but I think you're getting to that breaking point where you're you're not really worried about whether it catches them off guard or not because you're like you know what this can't be stagnant anymore I can't do this anymore with you um but the king of swords I feel like they don't see it you know what I mean here she is pouring her heart out telling him what she wants what she feels just completely giving it one last shot being vulnerable saying here I am you, you know showing just completely showing her showing who she is and and just giving it her all just one last time you know which is kind of like a screw it you know whatever energy basically and this king of swords look at him he's kind of looking down like he's not seeing it he's not acknowledging it he's still not acknowledging it i think she's gotten louder or louder because the patience and the perseverance and the the empathy and all this this calm energy she's tried to give him hasn't really worked he's just kind of ignored that too so she's at the point where she's like screw it and she's just gonna lay all her cards out on the table and there might be some explosive arguments between you two or um just deep talks basically just just coming just coming to some conclusions basically i see that coming in that could be coming in with this moon cycle that we have i think in like what is it like two or three days or something like that that could be coming in um but I feel like the King of Swords still doesn't acknowledge it, even though it's gotten so loud, like that pain has gotten so loud where it just finally you're about to explode. Even with the explosion, I feel I still feel like he doesn't fully acknowledge it. Like he just wants to have his cake and eat it too, where he might not, um, you might just have to walk away on your own. He might not really, you'll get some closure, but he, he might, and you, it is important, you know, for you to do what's right and for you to um, lay your cards out on the table and say what you need to say just for your own sake. 
you know, do that for yourself. Do that because that's what you, because you need to get it off your chest. You know, there's a lot that's been building up that you just want to say. And I feel like it will help you ultimately to be able to just say it, to just get it out, to speak those words, I think will be good for you in the long run. I don't know if I really see him acknowledging it, though, because you see him looking down. It's like she's pouring her heart out and he's still just kind of just kind of silent, just kind of doing his own thing, not really completely hearing her or maybe not wanting to lose her, but not wanting to commit either. It's like he doesn't want to say, no, I'm done, but he doesn't want to give her the commitment that she wants either. Um, so and, and you have to force yourself out of limbo because this person there's a good chance this person will not give you the answers that you want. They won't give you, they won't, you're wanting to either have closure with this person, I think, or you're wanting a new beginning with this person. And there's a chance that they're still not going to hear your pain, that they're still going to be silent. And so you're going to have to force yourself out of limbo. You're going to have to take their uncertainty and their stagnant energy as your answer and you're going to have to give yourself closure because they probably won't give you closure they're probably just going to want to keep taking you for granted and just keep you on the hook but not fully commit to you so you're going to have to give yourself closure and you're going to have to force yourself out of this stagnant energy you know with the six of pentacles here too it's like you're wanting to just get back everything that you've received you're wanting to get to that point and you're looking forward and you're realizing it's not with this king of swords and so this this cycle this karmic cycle could be a soulmate but it could just be a karmic partner too um this cycle seems like it's coming to a, a close um i mean it's ultimately up to you of course but if you stay in this situation it's going to keep being stagnant and you're going to keep being taken for granted and no matter how loud you get no matter how how much pain you're in no matter how much you cry out for this person i still don't see them acknowledging you and hearing you and um appreciating you I, I don't see that happening really so with this world i feel like for the majority of you you're gonna realize you know i've been through this situation long enough i'm tired of it i want to move forward now with the world card so this chapter is closing and then you get in the queen of cups energy which is really good this is a new start for you and i'm gonna pull some cards and look and see what i can get about new love coming in because i like i was saying in the beginning of the reading I don't think you're normally the queen of swords. I think that you had to be the queen of swords because the person that you've been with or the situation, whether it's an ex or a current partner, whatever the situation is, they were the king of swords and their energy rubbed off on you and this power struggle and their distance rubbed off on you and you kind of had to harden yourself and you had to be distant with them and you had to protect your heart and you had to... Um, you just had to really be strong with them like there were a lot of times where you just couldn't really be vulnerable you couldn't be open you couldn't be yourself and even when you did try to be strong and and think about the good times and try to remind them of the good times or try to remind them of the potential that was there you know when you did try to be empathetic and loving it still just got taken for granted they still weren't acknowledging you even when you got even when you get really loud and explode it's like they still don't acknowledge the issues they still don't acknowledge the pain um, so I see a lot of you finally just wrapping this up and coming to a close and realizing enough is enough. Um, it's time to start a new chapter in your life, basically. With the Queen of Cups, yeah, so it's like you're not the Queen of Swords, you know. You were not yourself with this person. You had to be somebody else to survive this situation because they weren't taking your feelings seriously enough. So I see you getting back into your Queen of Cups energy where you're emotional and you're open and you're loving and you're empathetic and um you it's just much more of a gentle kind of feminine energy that you're coming back into after you complete this cycle so once you get back into this queen of cups energy i want to see if you've got new love coming in or what the what the story is i think right now you're just kind of wrapping this situation up but let's see let's see what's coming in for you guys after that okay so new love so once you get once you complete the cycle and you get back in that queen of cups energy what is going on is is there a new person coming in is there new love what's going on there like once this cycle is complete what's going on with your love life
Ooh, that's good. See, the emperor reversed. I think that's really beautiful because I think it's saying, I think the king of swords was the emperor, and it's kind of saying, because it's very similar energy, you know, the emperor and the king of swords, I take that to be very similar energy. And the fact that the that this new person has the emperor reversed, I think is kind of saying it's like he's the opposite of this, he or she is the opposite of this king or queen of swords, basically. There's somebody who's not controlling, somebody who's not uptight, somebody who's not strict, somebody who's not serious, somebody who's kind of like funny and nerdy and sweet and laid back. And they're the king of cups, that's a really good card to get. And the chariot, so moving forward, this is really good energy. Page of Pentacles, the star, four of wands, death. So again, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, um, it's not the death of this relationship. It's the death of, um, it's, I don't take it as a bad. If I felt, if I felt like it, I, intuitively, if, if this was an ending to this new relationship, I would feel it. I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it's more, um, just talking about the first relationship i'll get into it in a minute but I, I don't feel like it's it's not saying that this new relationship is going to end or anything like that i think it's just saying like death and rebirth like when you close one door another opens i also think for this this new person it's kind of saying a transformation is going to occur with this person like maybe a deeper level of commitment let me here let me get a couple clarifiers on death actually can i get two clarifier cards on death Ten of Cups and Seven of Wands. Yeah, see, it's the death of the Seven of Wands energy, this energy where you have to constantly defend yourself. That first spread we were talking about, the Queen of Swords energy, it's the death of that energy, and it's the rebirth of, um, you know, love. This is Ten of Cups. This is family. This is home. This is love, true love. This is completion. This is... Um, See, like, this white white flower here that she's looking at, that she's, like, reaching out to pick. It's, like, she's got these hearts all around her. Um, it's just, like, this, it's it's love. It's, like, reaching that point in your life where you want to be at. It's it's death and rebirth. You know, you're letting go of this, this old power struggle, this conflicting energy, and you're, you're finally, you know, home. You have your family. You have your person. You have love, basically. So I feel like with this person, it's just, if they are traditional at all, or if they are, are um, let's see with the Hierophant here, because the Hierophant and the, and the Emperor, it's like one after another, it's very, it's kind of similar energy, but I feel like the Hierophant, it's like if they are traditional, or they do have like certain ideals, or like a certain moral code, it's in a really healthy, positive way, it's not in a toxic way. It would just be like they don't cheat on people or they just have integrity basically is what it would be saying here. It's not the same as with this King of Swords we got from the first reading that where they were just controlled and they were stuck in their ways. Like this person wouldn't really be stuck in their ways but they would probably have a moral code that they follow is what it's saying. I feel like this could also be about your guides. Your spirit guides might be saying this is like a divine... Um, connection this could be a past life connection a soulmate or a twin flame connection that this you know your spirit guides and their spirit guides led you guys to each other so there could be a lot of synchronicity around this connection you know seeing 11 11 7 7 7 3 3 2 2 2 whatever kind of numbers or just um telepathic communication like it's a very spiritual bond that you have with this person and yeah, with the emperor being reversed, it's just, it's confirmation that they're nothing like the king of swords. They're the opposite of the king of swords we got in the first reading. They're, they're not controlling. They're not strict. They're not too serious. They'd be kind of more funny, sweet, nerdy type. Um, they're also the king of cups. They're, they're emotional. They're empathetic. They're loving. They're loyal. They're understanding they they work hard to try to communicate you know if your feelings if you're hurt about something they're going to try to take a step back and understand what you're feeling whereas this king of swords just immediately got defensive when you try to talk about your feelings or you you know it was always gaslighting you always 
kind of just trying to take you for granted. So it's like when you talked about your feelings, they would just try to shut you up so they could just keep taking you for granted, you know? Like if you asked for more commitment or you told them what you wanted or needed in the relationship, they would kind of turn it back around on you and gaslight you and find some way to just silence you. Whereas this person is actually, this King of Cups, this new love coming in, is actually really going to take the time to listen to your feelings and listen to your wants and needs and and be patient with you and really take the time to understand you with the chariot they are coming in strong they're coming towards you the page of pentacles they're they've been planting these seeds they've been wishing for you they've been trying to manifest you in their life they've been tra trying to manifest this love in their life with the page of pentacles it's kind of like they're like you're their dream in a way it's like moving forward with you having this connection with you having this love with you um being close to you it's like that's their dream their dream is to with their dream is the chariot their dream is to move forward to take this connection to the next level to to get to know you better to to develop this romantic connection further you know, it's like you are their dream. They're like looking at this. They're focusing on you, on the connection with you. They're they're trying to make this dream manifest. They're trying to put in the the empathy and the time and the energy and the patience into this relationship to make it grow. And with the star, that just kind of confirms it even further where they're just, they're, you know, they're planting the seed. They've been planting the seeds, but it's like they're watering it. They're tending to it. It's like a garden that they're, you know, slowly taking care of, making sure the soil is right, making sure they're watered on the right day, the plants are watered on the right days. It's kind of like that careful, patient consideration basically is, is how they view this relationship is something that's kind of fragile, something they have to really be gentle and careful with. Um, so I think that they are a very patient, empathetic person and they're just, they're really trying to go about things the right way. They're trying not to rush anything here, but they're really wanting to move forward with you. And with this um, four of wands, this is this is what they're wanting with you. This is what they're 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 wanting to come forward with the chariot. They're wanting this connection with you. They're I mean they're wanting you have the connection, but they want it to be deeper. They want it to be stronger. They want to take the time and effort to to make this connection stronger, and to really um, develop a stable romantic relationship with you. With the Four of Wands here, this is like peace, stability, um, a healthy environment. It's it's coming home basically. It's getting to that point. So that's what they're, that's where they're trying to go with you. And again, the Death card doesn't mean anything bad. Like I said, it was just saying, it's the death of the Seven of Wands. It's the death of having to be defensive and having to be on guard and having to be in that Queen of Swords energy all the time. And it's the rebirth of the Ten of Cups of. Um, you know, family, home, happiness, true love, you know, abundance when it comes to love and emotions, like being able to be your true self with somebody, being able to be emotional and open and vulnerable with somebody, having somebody be patient with you and being patient right back with them. So it's a really good relationship. This person has really good energy to them. Um, very stable, very loving, very empathetic, very patient inner energy that you have here with this person. So make sure that whatever this energy is, that you don't sabotage it for the King of Swords X. You know, you really want to wrap that cycle up. And, um, you know, because this person, because X has come back around a lot, especially during Mercury Retrograde. So you are ending that cycle. I do feel that. But I just want to put that out there, too. That this person is very patient and very loyal to you. Um, and really, he's going to water, he's, he's watering these seeds, you know what I mean? He or she is putting the time and effort in. But I think just, just acknowledge that, you know, just, just realize how much time and how much effort and energy um, they're, they're putting into this because... They, they don't want to feel like all that patience was for nothing, you know what I mean? And if the King of Swords came back around and you entertained that, they they might feel like, you know, why am I being patient with this person? Why am I, I'm, I'm trying so hard, I'm giving so much, I'm, I'm trying to communicate while I'm trying to do everything right, I'm trying to be perfect for this person, like, why do they want the King of Swords, you know what I mean? Like, it would make them insecure and make them shut down and it might sabotage this connection if you went back to the king of swords after um really opening up to this connection so be careful with this person's feelings because they are very stable and they are very loyal and very loving and they are putting the effort in for you so yeah there we go <laughs>
If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.